Arsenal with a corner, still nil-nil in the early minutes here. De Nielsen, just a measured ball out wide because there were still plenty of Arsenal players forward. Oh, and that's gone in! Nicholas Bentner didn't seem to catch it right. He just came inside the defender, struck it left-footed. And that's the first goal that Arsenal have scored in over six hours of Premier League football. Tony Mowbray looking down in dismay. And by Brunt, free kick. Al Mounier screaming instructions. Chris Brunt, maybe this favours the left footer. It is Chris Brunt who got it through! Oh! 1 1! What a great reply! Big hole in the Arsenal wall. Almunia couldn't get down quick enough at the foot of the post. Well, he had a smile on his face a couple of minutes ago. It's rapidly disappeared. Same that Luke Moore took it very nicely on his chest and got the shot away. It's cliche. Well, he's got a free kick, but uh, West Brom supporters and James Morrison think that was a fair shoulder to shoulder. And it's the littlest man, Andre Arshavin, who's come to take it. Left the big men up front. Oh, it must be! It's Carlo Toure! There always seem to be more red shirts, and he was able to win it cleanly and unchallenged. There's Toure, the scorer of the second Arsenal goal. That's over the top of Mete, here's Bednar! Oh, that's a terrific finish! Real quality from Nicholas Bentner, and Arsenal will lead 3-1 at half-time. Tony Mowbray looking quite deflated. Here's Ashavin to run at the defender. Goes around Mete, who did well to get something on it. Here's Bentner. He's made himself a shot on the left foot. Oh, there's an offside here. Here's Fortune. He's got Luke Moore in the middle. Oh, and he didn't do either. He didn't put it in the net. And he didn't find his strike partner. And he's missed the target. Oh, there was a touch by Almunier there that has gone unnoticed. Well, Senya lays it back to De Nielsen. Floated in, headed out by Donk. And then Bentner smashes it over the crossbar. He's had his chances to complete his hat-trick in the second half. Albion have been helped out by the woodwork, and it will be West Brom 1, Arsenal 3. At 1-1, one, one, seven minutes to go to half-time, the game looked finely balanced, but then, then you turned it around. We turned it around because we wanted really to win this game tonight. We knew that uh, it was a big one for us, and uh, that we wanted to end our draws, our series of draws, because... Uh, after in the end you have a doubt in your mind and uh, that's why uh, we found two good goals. The story of the night for me was is, was our defending again and, um, and if that doesn't improve we, we, know we won't give ourselves a chance to stay in this league. And I think even Laura you'd agree with that, they're in trouble aren't they? Yes. Yes, <laughs> I thought you might say that. Uh, before we leave you let's take a look at the Barclays Premier League table. Manchester United re-establish a seven-point lead over Chelsea and Liverpool, and the defending champions also have a game in hand. Just three points now separate Villa in fourth from Arsenal, while Everton still harbour hope of Champions League qualification. West Brom and Middlesbrough are joined in the bottom three by Blackburn, as Stoke move up four places. Wins for Tottenham and Hull give a healthy outlook to their prospects of safety.